Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. I just wanted to post this real quick video, sort of as a follow-up to the video I posted yesterday about Stan Romanek. If you didn't watch that video, go watch it, but basically I'm talking in that video about this new documentary film that came out that focuses and breaks down all of this strange activity surrounding a man called Stan Romanek who in the year 2000 began seeing UFOs, strange activity around his house, and was even abducted and met in person alien beings. Now, if you remember in my last video, I told you there's a large group of people, about half the people who watch this or have studied this case, that believe he is the most prolific hoaxer ever, and that a lot of the stuff that he's shown, it looks just blatantly fake. You'll also have a group of people who believe him, but even they have said that a lot of it does look staged. So, you know, the more I've thought about it and the more that I've looked over this documentary and all of this evidence, a lot of it, I have to say, does look staged. Um, whether we're talking about uh, the alien peeping Tom popping his head up in the window, which just so happens to conveniently appear right after he starts recording, after setting up the surveillance camera. Um, you know, it, I mean, it just looks staged. And the reaction of Stan feels very staged and just it sounds like bad acting, you know, over hyperventilating, trying to make it seem more dramatic. And, you know, there's other instances, too. Another big one for me that really kind of made me sit back and wonder was the infamous clip where a UFO is supposedly floating above his house and shines its spotlight down on the grass and on the side of his house, which was captured on the surveillance camera, which, to be honest, and I hope many of you notice this, too, it simply looks like someone is pointing a flashlight down towards the ground from the roof. You know, it doesn't look like some giant, smooth-moving spotlight uh, like you would see maybe from a helicopter or something like that. It literally looks like someone is pointing a flashlight down toward the ground, turns it on, and it has these real jittery movements like you would see with someone holding a spotlight or a flashlight. You know, so that was another big one. Does not look real at all. You know, there have been other pieces of information about Stan least of all him being arrested for having pictures of children on his computer, which, by the way, he claims was a government setup, uh, but, um, you know, I don't want to get into that. However, um, it, it was said that he was shopping around his footage for around $50,000 at one point. Uh, during one interview with a journalist, the journalist asked to see one of his alien implants, and unfortunately, he then changed his story and said that the implant had magically disappeared. And, you know, it just it, it kind of goes on and on, so, you know, I really am on the fence, and it really is looking staged, and the reason for today's video is because I want to show you a clip that was put together by another YouTube channel called Ellis Taylor. And it's of Stan doing an interview on Skype with another guy. And a couple times in this interview, you'll see what looks like, I don't know, something small. Like a pen or a USB stick, like fall from the ceiling and hit Stan in the head. And it's really weird. And Stan kind of looks around and looks up and pretends like he has no idea what just happened. You know, almost as if there's some invisible entity throwing stuff around and dropping it on his head. However, in the video, you can clearly see that Stan himself is flicking these objects up with his own hands and pretending like they're just falling on his head out of nowhere. And I think this, again, goes to show that he has, and in this video, is staging this so-called strange activity. I mean, it's point-blank proof. And so if he's faking this, then what else has he faked? So, yeah, I will uh, end the video here, and I'll let you watch this clip, and you guys tell me what you thought of the film. If you haven't watched it yet, do watch it, and if you were a believer of Stan before, watch this clip of him flicking these things up in the air, and then tell me if that has changed your views, or if you still believe this all to be 100% true, regardless of some of the inaccuracies and strange uh, staged things that we've talked about earlier. So again, watch this video, and I will see you guys back in just a bit. Hi.
Hello everybody and welcome to the show and today's guest is Stan Romanek. How are you going Stan? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me on. No, it's fine. Muchly appreciate you taking the time to come on. Um, you're a best-selling author and an experiencer. Absolutely. Brings, you know, more to the plate in your story that, you know, not all experiences have. I don't know what the hell that was. In your story that they know in your story that they know in your story that they know I don't know what the hell that was. I don't know what the hell that was. I don't know what the hell that was. Um but yeah, I, I'd be happy to talk about that. Um one of the experiences that I had, um Did you get touched I, then? No, something, I don't know if something dropped or what. But um, one of the experiences that I had, well, this subject, the subject is a very touchy subject for people. And, um, you know, the only way we'll know for sure is if I get DNA tested get it DNA tested and that costs a lot of money that which I don't have. I, I know exactly yeah, what you're saying. It's hard enough trying to get by let alone to have what the that just dropped <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I have no idea where the hell that come from. I have no idea where the hell that come from. I have no idea where the hell that come from. What was that, that that came over your head and dropped on the grandstand? They're playing funny, buggers. <laughs> I don't know where it went. I saw it come over your head and then go to your left, which is my right, and I don't know, I can't see where it would have gone from there, but that's what it, how it appeared on, on camera. I get the same crap here all the time, mate, so you all right? That's kind of creepy. <laughs> I had no idea where it went or what it was. Yeah, it went to um, your left. Oh, well, it went to your left. I don't know how it appeared over there. It's a thumb drive. Yeah, the USB memory sticks. USB memory stick. And I don't know where it came from because I thought it was in my drawer. Well, it to me appeared to drop on that side your left and not that side where it drops, so that's trippy stuff. Well, good day, like fellas, and thanks from, for popping in. It looked like it came from up above me. I don't know. That's bizarre. Yep, yeah, I'll write down the time code on that. It's around 40, 36 minutes you got touched, and 46 minutes that just happened. I get the same stuff here. We've had people see orbs and on my side of the thing, so it doesn't surprise me. I, doesn't surprise me at all. Um, Did you see the video I posted it on Facebook? I watch. I mean, see, it, it, this is part of being an experience. It's called high strangeness. All kinds of paranormal stuff happens. You know, suddenly you're living in a really haunted house. We had one of my figurines go flying across the road. And, I mean, flying across the room and. I looked up and my picture moved. So I got my camera and I dared him to move my picture. And um, it, I posted it on my Facebook. I dared them to move my picture and son of a gun, my picture goes, Rrr! they moved it. Yeah, I've seen that one, yeah. That's trippy stuff. Similar stuff happens here all the time. I know, I know exactly, it's like anything paranormal is gonna happen. And this isn't a haunted, like, you know, you could have a paranormal investigator come here and they're going to go, this is haunted. Like, it's not bloody haunted, you know, but there is high strangeness. It's not the, not what they're thinking.